All right, what's going on, everybody? It's me, the Great Heisman here. So I'm going to be doing my reaction video to the Portugal versus the Netherlands matchup. This is going to be a good match, I hope. Uh, should be a good game. Uh, Portugal, they're on a fire right now. Cristiano Ronaldo, that dude, is just on fire as well. He's like, did you? Uh, if you guys saw his goals against uh, Egypt, like that was a crazy comeback by Portugal. Not gonna lie, yo, Portugal scored uh, two goals. In under three minutes to beat Egypt 2-1. to one. That was insane. Like, real talk, man. I didn't think that was going to happen. But, I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo, that guy is just amazing to watch. I really have no words how to describe Ronaldo. He's just phenomenal. You know? He's just phenomenal. Nothing much else I could say. But, anyways, let's hope this is going to be a good matchup. I think it will. So, let's see what we're going to get. Not going to lie, though. The World Cup this year won't be the same without teams like Netherlands, USA... I don't know how USA didn't qualify for the World Cup. This sucks. You know, I really wish USA would qualify because it's like USA is a nation of 300 million people and they can't qualify. But Iceland, a nation of only 300,000 people, which is a fraction of the U.S. population, managed to qualify for the World Cup. That's just mind-blowing. I really have no words for that, to be honest with you. But hey, props to Iceland. But uh, as I was saying, Netherlands, they didn't qualify. That was very surprising, you know, because they used to be such a dominant team. You know, I remember the days of... Uh, Wesley Snyder, you know, Robin and Van Persie. I do think that them, that uh, the age of Snyder, Robin and Van Persie does have a uh, a part in the Netherlands not qualifying. I think it's going to be a big loss for the Netherlands. It's going to be hard to replace players like that of their uh, caliber. You know, it's going to be interesting to see who can replace Robin, Snyder, and Van Persie. But, uh, yeah, also Italy didn't qualify as well because they lost in the playoff qualifying to Sweden, which was also shocking because Italy has been qualifying every year for the past since uh, 1958, but this year they just didn't qualify. That's mind-blowing. And Chile also didn't qualify, even though they won back-to-back -back Copa America titles. So yeah, this is going to be pretty shocking to uh, see the World Cup without those teams, but I'll be pulling for Poland to win the World Cup. I think Poland is good enough to win the World Cup, but we'll see because, you know, I'm hoping that uh, we can progress in the World Cup like how we did in the Euros. But anyways, going back to the matchup, uh, Portugal, they uh, they won first place in their group, and they qualify automatically for the World Cup. So anyways, uh, right now it's still 0-0, but anything can happen. Ronaldo can Ronaldo is just one of those game change guys that can change the outcome of a game. And the Memphis Depay just scored for the Netherlands. It's 1-0. That was a crazy counterattack by them. And it looks like Memphis Depay is slowly regaining his form. I don't know what happened to him at Manchester United. I I honestly just have no idea. I thought he was going to be a beast at United, but unfortunately that didn't happen. But he has four goals in his last five international matches with the Netherlands, which, hey, I give I give props to him, man. Uh, I hope he continues his form. Dude is pretty underrated, if you ask me. He's doing pretty decent at Lyon. So, yeah, it's going to be crazy to see if he can go to a big club again, like after the uh, World Cup. Let me know what you guys think about that. And it's 2-0 already for the Netherlands. Man, the Netherlands today are just really good on the counterattack. I don't know what else to say, man. Uh, damn. They're just freaking dominant on the counterattack. And I think that because of their counterattacks, they that's the reason why they're up 2-0. And that was a damn good cross and a great header from Ryan Babel. And oh, I thought Ronaldo was going to score a header right there. That came pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Ooh. And it's already 3-0 for the Netherlands, thanks to another goal from Virgil van Dijk. Wow, Netherlands are just dominating Portugal right now. I don't know what else to say, man. Damn. Jesus. 3-0 for the Netherlands in the first half. Say what? You gotta... What? Huh? Wow. Damn. Well, what can I say? Netherlands, they, uh... They're playing way better than Portugal right now, you know. That's one thing I will admit. You know, Virgil van Dijk, he volleys that. That was a beautiful goal by him. Depay delivers the ball into the box. And boom, Virgil van Dijk with the finish. Whoo. <laughs> Another fan ran onto the pitch to try and meet Ronaldo. Damn, that's the second time that happened today. Wow, yo, man, you, what? Running onto the pitch just to meet Ronaldo? Damn, that takes a lot of guts. 
And that's the match. Netherlands beat Portugal 3-0. Well, what can I say? Portugal didn't have their best game. Uh, I was expecting this match to be more competitive. I didn't think that this match was going to end 3-0, but that's the way how this match ended out. And it looks like another fan tried to run onto the pitch. <laughs> I mean, that's the third time that a fan tried to do that in this match. But anyways, uh, let me know what you guys thought about this matchup. It was a pretty fun match to watch, but thought it was going to be more competitive. I thought maybe it was going to end in a draw. Or I thought it was maybe going to be 2-1 for Portugal, but the Netherlands won 3-0. So, hey, props to the Netherlands. You know, they played very well in this match. They defended very well. You got to give them credit, man. But anyways, guys, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share the video, and turn on notifications. Anyways, have a good one.